once upon a time, health insurance plan sponsors expanded their coverage to include prescription drugs. They turned to a new kind of company, a sort of middleman, to process those prescription claims for a small fee. Everyone was happy. Plan sponsors had someone else to administer all those claims, the claims processors made money providing the service, and patients had easy access to their medications at their neighborhood pharmacies. But as time passed, those middlemen began to exert more and more control over patients' prescription drug benefits. It wasn't long before they had morphed from something good and useful into huge, publicly traded companies with shareholders dissatisfied. They even took a new name, Pharmacy Benefit Manager, and they concentrated their power. Today, PBMs control the pharmacy benefits of more than 253 million Americans. After numerous acquisitions and consolidations, just three PBMs now control 78% of prescription drug benefit transactions in the United States. Those PBMs like to market themselves as the controllers of cost in the supply chain. That's their story. But that's all it is, a story. Drug expenditures keep going up. We all seem to be paying more, not less. And those middlemen, the PBMs, well, they've not only gotten powerful, they've also gotten rich. Very, very rich. PBMs extract profits from your prescription claims in three ways. Fees, rebates, and spread. Today's largest PBMs say they lower prescription drug benefit costs for plan sponsors. Yet, since 1987, total spending on prescription drugs in the U.S. has increased 1,010%. The U.S. economy as a whole only grew about 126% in that same time period. The amount of money consumers themselves are paying for prescriptions has grown 169% in that same time period. But despite the massive savings in generic drugs, despite enormous increases in manufacturer rebates, and despite increased plan costs to employers and consumers, PBM profits have increased exponentially. Those profits PBMs extract from the prescription drug supply chain actually increase prescription drug costs, just the opposite of what PBMs claim.